Well, hello everybody and welcome to your monthly numerology here at Readings at the Roundtable. I'm Jennifer and I have the lovely and beautiful Jasmine with me today. And of course the cats, I have um, Mouse and Mercury with me. And speaking of Mercury, you know, people keep asking me why I don't go through every aspect of every planet when I do these like sort of recaps for the month. And it is really, I, I just try to cover the, like hitting the highlights and Mercury moves as fast as the sun. So I don't really cover all the aspects of the sun, Mercury and the moon because they move so quickly. However, I am going to cover a couple of aspects that I feel like are really important this month. So let me tell you what I've got. We're kicking off the month on February 2nd with Groundhog Day. So we'll see if Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow or not. On the fifth of um, on the fifth of February, we have Mercury moving into Aquarius, and because Pluto has just moved into Aquarius, and he's a very slow-moving planet, Mercury is actually going to be conjunct Pluto that day. Um, then we have on the ninth, we have a new moon in Aquarius. Um, on the tenth, we have the Lunar New Year. Um, some will call it the Chinese New Year, but it's the Lunar New Year, and it's the Year of the Dragon, and I'm loving that. For this 44-8 year, and it's the Year of the Dragon, I feel like this is a really powerful year. I really do. Um, then on the 13th, we have Mars moving into Aquarius. On um, the 13th as well, we also have Mardi Gras, which is also traditionally like Fat Tuesday. On the 14th, of course, we have Valentine's Day, and it's also Ash Wednesday. Um, now, this is another thing. We have Mars conjunct Pluto because Mars has just moved into Aquarius. He moves just a little bit slower than Mercury. Um, well, he moves a lot slower than Mercury, but not as slow as Pluto. So Mars is conjunct Pluto. Um, then we have on the 16th, Venus is moving into Aquarius. And on the 17th, we have Venus conjunct Pluto. Now, the reason why I covered all of these things, because this is not the first time that Mercury, Venus, or Mars has been conjunct Pluto. But for the last 15 years-ish, we've had those, um, those things take place in Capricorn. So now Pluto is in a new sign, and I feel like it's important for us to take a look and see how these planets are going to interact with Pluto in a new sign. That's why I'm pointing it out. Okay, so the 17th, Venus is conjunct Pluto. On the 18th, we have the sun moving into Pisces. All right, Pisces season. Um, on the 19th, uh, we have President's Day, but that's only in the U.S. Um, on the 22nd, we have Mars and Venus conjunct. So Mars and Venus like meet up in Aquarius. On the 23rd, we have Mercury moving into Pisces. On the 24th, we have a full moon in Virgo, which hits its peak at 7.30 a.m. And on the 29th, there is a 29th this year, we have Leap Day. One of my friends is actually getting married on Leap Day this year. It's very exciting, very exciting. So here at the end of February, we are going to have three planets, or three planets and South Node in air. So we have Pluto, Venus, and Mars in Aquarius, and South Node in Libra. Um, we also have four planets in water, um, Mercury, the Sun, Saturn, and Neptune. Um, we have North Node in Aries, so we have one in fire. It's not exactly a planet. Um, but we in tar in um, we have two in Earth. We have um, Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus. So we're again, we're ending the month with four planets in water, three planets plus South Node in air two planets in Earth, and only the North Node is hanging out in the fire signs. So there you have it. Um, thank you again for being so patient with me as I am getting over a really horrible bout of flu. And being off for two weeks really did like impact me getting my videos out on time. So I am hoping to have this out like right at the beginning of February, but um, I do appreciate your patience and I should be back on track for March. So thank you. Let's see now what your individual numerology is.
Hello, Life Path 11, and welcome to February. Oh my gosh, February is going to be a great month for you because this, for you, Life Path 11, is going to be a three month, and that's going to be all about communication. Now, before you step back and you're just like, oh my gosh, I didn't want to communicate with people. Okay, I get that. Because most people that I know that are Life Path 11s are very selective about who they talk to. I know, it sounds crazy. Because you are always looking for a new way of communicating with people. Maybe just like, you're like, I don't mind talking to people that I've known for a long time, but mm. But this is definitely going to be a time of communicating. It's going to be a time of communicating your thoughts, your emotions, your opinions, and doing it in a way that you're definitely expressing yourself, um, that you're, you're embracing that self-expression of the three. I mean, three is really about speaking your truth and self-expression, and in a way that can embrace writing or journaling or doing some kind of art project or speaking engagement, or even in music, or poetry. Mm, that would be great, wouldn't it? The three is very artistic and creative. It's an imaginative time, and I feel like this could be a wonderful month for you to be that way, to be to embrace this side of yourself. Now, um, the mantra of the three is, I am creativity and vibrant expression sharing my authentic voice freely. This is so right up your alley. It really is Life Path 11. You're all about accepting divine inspiration and converting dreams into reality. And now you can do that with communication and the, the imaginative like juices that are going to be flowing during February for you. Because that's what a three is all about. It's a very cheerful time too. So you're going to have a lot of ups and downs. You know, you're going to feel that like up and down period because not everybody wants to hear what you have to say. But it's important that you're assertive during this time and that you're sharing yourself and you're sharing your opinions and your thoughts and your emotions the right way. Because freedom of thoughts and speech does not and should not cause injury to other people, mm. especially if it's for personal gain. So anytime people are in a three month, a three year, or if they have a life path three, I always, always caution them on this. It's very, very important, and I caution them on this, this exact thing. Um, <coughs> sorry, I am trying to edit out all the really loud coughs, so just in case I forget, I'll just go ahead and apologize. Sorry. Um, the shadow effects of the three are judging of the self and others harshly, um, unable to speak your truth openly or communicate openly. Um, which can lead you to be pessimistic or exaggerate or get a little gossipy. Now, we really don't want to embrace that. I mean, you may feel those feelings coming in, but we really don't want to embrace that. When we start judging ourselves too harshly, Life Path 11, what happens is that cup starts overflowing into other people and other things. We don't need to be sitting in the judgment seat on anybody. No. So when we start feeling that energy come in, this is a good time for you to like bring in your clairaudient, your clairvoyant self, your very, very intuitive like um, vibe that you have, Life Path 11, and just say, okay, there's probably something else going on here. Because remember, you're all about illumination. You're all about enlightenment. And you accept the divine inspiration like nobody's business. So just remember when you're starting to feel um, you're judging yourself or you're judging others a little bit harshly, you need to step back a little bit and you need to use compassion here. 
We need to use that compassionate energy and listen to your intuition because it's going to guide you to see that there's more to the story, even with yourself. Um, the lesson of the three is communicating emotions openly and letting go of judgments of the self and others. So this is a really important point. It is. Um, and we don't need to be pessimistic. We really don't. Because the shadow side of the three, being pessimistic, exaggerating, or getting a little gossipy, really leads, it, it can lead you to camp out in some of your shadow sides, which is like having that nervous tension, being impractical, feeling very sensitive, or not being able to communicate with people publicly or interact with people publicly, I should say. So let's just think about that, all right? Let's just really, really embrace our spiritual gifts this month as we're in a three time of communicating. It can be challenging, it can, but I think ultimately this is going to be a fantastic thing for you because we're in a 44-8 year and we don't want to manifest negativity. We want to manifest some really good stuff. We want to create really wonderful stuff for ourselves. So remember your mantra, I am divine inspiration, making a difference in the world today. It's really awesome. It's really awesome, and you know what? So are you, Life Path 11, really. All right, I am pulling from the usual decks, the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck, and the Healing Oracle Crystal reading cards today. So let's see what kind of advice cards that we get for you. Um, I do have to thank you for being so patient with me in um, getting all of my videos out um, for... Um, the Zodiac reading and the numerology because I got the flu and I was off for almost two weeks. So I'm really, really behind. Um, but after these videos come out, I should be able to catch up. So we should be in a good space. All right. Let's see what we got here for you, Life Path 11. Ooh, Yumanya, golden opportunity. Oh, that sounds really good. Okay. All right. Oh, the Herkimer Diamond dreams. Oh my gosh. My Herkimer Diamond got kind of buried back here because the cats were playing with it. It's one of the many that I have. Love the Herkimer Diamond. Okay. So, uh, Yumanya, Golden Opportunity. What a fantastic card. Look at that mermaid. Ah! Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. It's definitely important to be able to communicate during this month. Um, okay, Herkimer Diamond Dreams. Whew. All right, the Herkimer Diamond is a wonderful gift to humanity from the Crystal Kingdom. Its medicine holds the key to remembering and accessing our dream state. Sleeping with this magical crystal under the pillow will allow you to remember your dreams and access the magic that they bring. When working closely with this crystal, you will also find new inspiration and clear the blocks from your creativity. And this is an extremely creative month for you. It invokes your dynamic personality and vibrancy. It, and that's so funny because vibrant is part of the mantra of the three. 
Um, it allows you to shine in your totality and magnificence. It activates inspiration, new ideas, and clears the creative blocks and sweeps the mind clear of clutter. Holy crap. This is going to be just incredibly awesome this month. This truly is. This can be an awesome month for you. I mean, the three months is very, very creative and artistic and especially in helping you to have that self-expression and that communication. I love it. I love it. I think that you should be looking forward to February. Thank you so much for joining me today, uh, Life Path 11. Like I said, I really do appreciate your patience in all of this time, like me getting everything um, done and posted. Um, I am back at work, but uh, my voice is like, eh, like a little about like 94%-ish. <laughs> Thank you again. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful February. And until we see each other again, Life Path 11, get out there and make your magic. Bye.